Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to back up data onto your, to a CD. Okay, first things first, place a blank CD into your burning drive. Okay, the next thing you have to do is hit Start, Programs, and find Nero or any other burning software that you use. You go Nero Start Smart. Okay, this little window comes up. Okay, we want to burn a CD, so we click on the CD tab, and we want to burn a data disk. So scroll along till you find make a data disk, and now the next window comes up, and this is where you can add uh, the data you wish to burn. Now I wish to back up my showreel, and we just add those files. Now you can add more files if you wish, but I don't intend to. So when you're done, you can click finish. Okay, down here you can see once you've added a file, it's uh, calculated the size. In this case, it's 448 megabytes, which is indicated with this little bar and the size there. Okay, with this, a CD usually holds about 750 megabytes of storage space. So when this little um, blue bar crosses the yellow line, that's when it's hits 700 megabytes and you only have 50 spare. Once you go over this red dotted line, it won't uh, burn that data, so your disk will be overfilled, okay? So you may miss a whole bunch of files or something like that, and it just won't get backed up onto the CD. Uh, if this happens, uh, you may have to edit what you've put in this um, burning queue. So all you do is select the stuff that you don't need or you can go into it and say, oh, okay, I don't want to back up this file. And you just go delete. But I don't want to wish to do that at the moment. Um, to go back up to the main file directory, you just hit the up button. And there you go. Okay. Um, yeah, to actually delete it, select it and delete. Um, Okay, I think that's what we have to do. Now we just hit next to start burning. Um, we name the disk, so I'll call this show real. Oh. Show real. And um, it automatically sets the maximum burning speed. Okay, this option here allow files to be added later. Um, I don't wish to actually do that, so I'll tick, untick that box. I only want one copy. Um, and I wish to verify data after it's been burnt. This just double checks to see if everything's been, been burnt correctly, there's no errors on the disk and all that sort of thing. Okay, now you can hit burn and it'll start burning the data onto the disk. Um, this can take uh, a couple of minutes depending on your burning speed and what disks you have and a whole bunch of other little variables. But I'll just pause here and wait for it to finish burning. Okay, uh, it's finished burning and now I'm um, doing data verification and once it's done that it'll put this little pop-up telling you that it's finished and you just click OK and then just click Next. It should automatically eject the disk from the drive for you and then all you have to do is name your disk. Make sure you do that, or else it can be very time consuming and confusing if you have a whole bunch of unnamed disks. Um, anyway, now it'll ask you if you want to burn the same project again, make a cover for it. If you have um, a printer that can do that, like print directly onto a CD or a print stamp, or you can save the project for later use. The, the, that'll save it as a bin file so someone else can come and open that up and be able to burn the data that you just burned onto that disk but in this case I don't wish to do any of that so just click exit and now Nero Smart will come back up and I don't want to do anything further so just hit this little off button and there you have it that's how to back up uh, data onto a CD hope this tube was useful to you see you later